The Apple credit card is being canceled by Goldman Sachs. And the Apple credit card is no more. Goldman Sachs has lost anywhere from one to three billion dollars since they rolled out the Apple credit card in 2020. This is tremendous. It's not 16 billion. Let's go ahead and correct that, ladies and gentlemen. But I want to talk about this Apple credit card and how it is in serious jeopardy of being on the chopping block. Either it's going to go to another provider or will Apple actually just fold it and get rid of it because Goldman Sachs wants nothing to do with it. They are burning money faster than any other credit card company has ever seen. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike the Credit Guy. I'm the owner and founder of Limitless Culture. We created the most advanced DIY credit management system in the industry. Our system allows you to take control of your credit, creating custom Metro 2 attack letters every single round, never using templates for only $55.99 a month. Link is always going to be in the description. Now let's get into this video. As credit card debt in America continues to climb and hit a record-breaking $1 trillion, Americans continue to rack up credit card debt and Goldman Sachs is feeling the pain. They, in fact, continue to stick by the side of the Apple credit card, but let's be honest, it's not by choice. It's by contractual agreement. They have to and are being forced to stick to the agreements and terms that they, can, that they actually agree to. So this is becoming a mounting serious issue with Goldman Sachs. And in fact, they were able to get rid of the green sky card that was also causing big issues for them. But now the Apple credit card is on the chopping block because the Apple credit card is being pushed to people that have less than a 660 FICO bank card score eight. This is becoming a huge issue for Goldman Sachs. They are reporting the largest charge off rates than any other bank in American history currently. What we found for Goldman Sachs is, is really interesting given their reliance, heavy reliance on the Apple card, which is uh, they actually had a 2.93% uh, net charge off rate. Now that is roughly twice what you would see at a JP Morgan or a B of A. We can get into why that's perhaps a little bit of an apples to oranges comparison a little bit, but uh, needless to say, it's the highest charge off rate among any of the big issuers with sizable credit card books. And, you know, I dug into a little bit as to why that would be the case. It turns out if you look at their customers, about 28% of their loans go out to people with uh, FICO scores lower than 660, which is considered below prime. And people truly like to hate on the Apple credit card. They say it's just a flex card because of that. It's a full titanium card. And the crazy thing about it is you get better deals without the actual titanium card. Now look at that. There's no, there's no numbers on the back of it. So this is why it's attracted a lot of people. But the fact of the matter is, this is really built for tech savvy people. And I believe wholeheartedly that the Apple credit card is one of the best beginner credit cards for anybody because it gives you awareness about debt. It tells you how much interest you're gonna pay and how much you're not gonna pay. And this is truly why Goldman Sachs is not making money because credit card issuers make money from interest. And if the Apple credit card is teaching you how not to pay interest, well, that makes sense now, right? So as an example, my nephew, Ricky, shout out Ricky. He just turned 18. He's a senior in high school. He's about to graduate. And I helped him get the Chase Rise credit card. Well, here's the thing. Once he got his credit card, he used it and he doesn't understand when to pay it, what interest rates mean. So I had to break it down to him because Listen, Chase Bank is a great bank, but they do not supersede the technology that the Apple credit card has. They put the power back into the credit card user. So I broke down to him. He was going to pay $130 in interest fees. He was like, what? He's like, well, when do I pay this? So I don't have to pay this interest fee. But just think about this. How many credit card companies tell you that? None of them. But the Apple card simplifies the process. And I thought to myself, self, like, this is why the Apple credit card is so powerful and probably why they're not making any money. Last part is the most important. So let me show you exactly what it looks like when you log into an Apple card account. This is my account. And as you can see, it's kind of like a glowing yellow there. As you continue to carry more, uh, more of a higher balance, 
But what it does is it starts to glow red. It's like danger, Will Robinson, danger. You need to pay this off. It tells you exactly how much I paid, my balance, my limit, how much my spending activity is, how much money is in my savings account, how much I've made, because my cash back rewards go into my high yield savings account, which is great. No other card offers that currently, but then there's the pay meter that's even more powerful. Did you know that the Goldman Sachs building in New York City has an actual like button as soon as you walk in? No, it actually doesn't, but this channel definitely does. Smash that like button and make sure that you hit the subscribe button because we're trying to get to a million subscribers and we cannot do it without you. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this is what the meter looks like. You log in, you click on pay, and it's gonna show you exactly. Okay, I pay off the whole balance. Look at no interest charges. I pay off, still no interest. Okay, I go there, $15 interest. I pay my minimum, and that's $26 of interest. This is what makes the Apple credit card so powerful, and the true reason why Goldman Sachs is not making any money. Just with these awesome features, this is why I believe that the Apple credit card is a great beginner credit card. This isn't for someone that is an advanced credit card person. This is perfect for younger people that are getting into the credit card game, people that just don't really understand credit. It is designed to be a great entry level beginner card, but people still hate on it. But the question here really lies on, the, on this specific. Are they going to just close the card? because they're continuing to burn and lose money. But at the end of the day, Apple's not gonna let that happen. So who is the card gonna go to? Is it gonna go to American Express? We don't know. Are they still taking applications? Yes, they're actively still taking signups and applications. That's the crazier part about it because the Apple credit card hack is still 100% alive and kicking. Apple truly wants this credit card to be available for anybody, and that's what's hurting Goldman Sachs. And Goldman Sachs has to find an exit strategy. I don't believe they're just gonna close the card. They're just not, they can't walk away from this because it's gonna cost them a lot more money because Apple's not gonna sit around and let that happen. Because at the end of the day, they did agree to this contractual agreement and these terms. So the real huge question is who's it gonna go to? Is it gonna be American Express? Tell me in the comments, who do you think should pick up the Apple credit card? Because what's gonna happen with these savings accounts? Are they just gonna all just move over? I mean, we hope that's gonna happen, but some of these other banks are not designed. They don't have high yield savings accounts, but guess what? American Express does, Capital One does, and they do not have a problem with subprime lending issues and people defaulting as much as Goldman Sachs does. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We covered a lot talking about the Apple credit card and Goldman Sachs. It's very important that you know about this information because there are a lot of people out there that have the Apple credit card and the Apple credit card hack is still alive and they're giving out credit limit increases. It's insane, but I want you to be in the know. If there's anything else specific you want me to talk about, drop it in the comments section. Drop some emojis in there so we can get this video going so more people can hear about this Apple credit card news. And I cannot thank you enough. We cannot do it without you, our community. So again, thank you for watching. And make sure that you watch the next two videos because those are all recommended by YouTube. And don't forget, subscribe to increase your credit score.